okay guys right now it's time for us to update a user's profile right so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about remember back here in our serializer by creating a user we only provide values for the email the username the first name last name and password and if you remember closely we we had to customize our user model we added extra fields like bio the profile picture the facebook url we had understand the YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, right? So these other fields don't have any value, you understand? Because while creating a user, we only provide values for the most important fields. So right now, I want to give users the ability to update their profile and provide values for these other fields. So we are going to work. So right now, we are going to be working on on the users' profile updates, right? So I'm going to create a new serializer. A new serializer right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply copy this one it's going to be similar to this one i'll just paste this guy here yeah i'm going to call this user updates user profile let's say user profile update serializer let's call it updates user profile serial. let's call it updates user profile serializer right so i'm going to add in the extra fields like the bio i'm going to i'm going to remove the password we don't need to update the password i'm going to just say the bio right profile what was the other one because it's called let me be sure i think it's called profile picture profile picture and then the social media links right okay let me just close this guy open this to the right right so here's our serializer so it's got profile picture, profile underscore picture. Now add the other one is Facebook. We have YouTube. We have Instagram. And we also have Twitter, which is known as X currently. So yes, I've added the other feeds you want to update. So we've got the feeds here. So wrap, so perfect, right? So what's the next phase? So we're going to create a view for this serializer. And just here, I'll create the view just under the under the register user. Let me just I want to make them, I want to make sure they are together. I'll create the view just under the register user serializer. It must not be there, but I just want to I want to just make my there. So right now I'm going to pass in the API view. The, the API view decorator and it's going to accept the put request because we're trying to update an existing record and we're going to also add this permission class because it's only a logged in user that can that can update his or our profile so i'll just say def updates underscore user profile user underscore profile and passing the requests i'm going to get the logged in user i'm going to say that should be equal to request.user request.user it's very simple and then what are we going to do next now i'm going to say serializer should be equal to updates updates user profile serializer we're going to pass in the user one, one we're going to pass in this user because out because it is this user who wants to update and then we're going to pass in the requests object i'm going to say data should be equal to requests dot objects am i correct request of data not dot object sorry request of data then i'm going to simply import this this class also than control and the period sign on your keyboard yeah so we already got it imported here is it right so back here i'm going to check if the serializer is valid i'm going to say if so if the serializer is valid, then we are going to simply save. We are going to say serializer. We are going to save the serializer. We are going to say serializer dot save. Right. So we've got that there, and then we are going to return a response. We're going to say return response. Then we'll say serializer dot data 
else we're going to return a else we're going to return this error response right just copy this and paste it yeah so yeah so we've got that already so we've got our this user profile set so we're going to create we're going to create what we're going to create a url for the view and just here i'll just put in the parts so yeah, we're gonna say updates underscore user. And then I'm gonna pass in the views. I'm gonna say views dots updates user profile and the name should be equal to delete blog. Sorry, it should be equal to updates user. Yeah, so we've got this already. So let's try it out. Let's try it out right away. Okay. So, um, yeah, so let's try it out. Before we try it out now, go down, let's go down to our admin.spy file, admin.spy. So I would like to add, right now, if you go down to the user, if you go down to the Django admin, check out our users. Um, come on, come on, come on. I hope my server is not down. Let me run the server again. Let's run server. Ouch. So we're having an error, and that's coming from the URL.spy file. So I think we've got, let's add a comma. We've got to add a comma here. This comma is important. So, so don't worry, our server is going to reload by itself. So why is this reloading? Okay, well, so let's wait for it to reload because I want to I show you something. So now back to the browser, let's refresh this. So now from what we have here now, this is the user table. We only have these three fields, the username, the email address, the first name, the last name. So right now I want to be able to add the bio. I want to add other fields. So I want, I want to be able to, I want also see the other fields we have here, like the bio, the profile picture and the rest, right? So back here, so back to our list display, I'm going to add, I'm going to remove this creates. Okay. I'm going to simply remove, we're not using the email for anything. Let's remove email. I'm not working with the email. So I'm going to just add, let's say the bio, the profile picture, the Facebook, Instagram, We have Twitter. What else again? Okay, we only have Twitter and YouTube, right? Let's add YouTube. Let me just break this. Yeah, so we've got this now. So come back here if you refresh the page. So you can see now we have everything showing there. That's perfect now. So you can see, so right now, you can see we have all the fields now all showing. You can see the other ones are blank because we don't have a value. We don't have values for them yet. So you can see the bio is empty for both users. Let me just, I also wish I can collapse this. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, so perfect now. So you can see we only have two users. The bio is blank for both. They, they don't, both, they don't, both of them don't have five pictures. So the only so why quitting the account? The only the only provided value for their username, the first name, and the last name. So right now, once you update, want to give them the ability for them to update their profiles and provide values for the other fields, right? So now it's simple. We will be doing this before. So back to our view again. You can see before you can do this, you must, you must be logged in. We can only update the logged in user's profile. So here's our URL. It's called updates user so back to postman so right now i want to update let's see let's update clinton's um let's update clinton's record so i'm going to simply send it i want to create a new access token because the one we have here might have expired so send yep so we got a new access token right so this is let me just reduce the size of this thing 
so we've got, to, we've got a new access token so right now let's update the profile so back here we're going to just say update user update underscore user okay so now user right so i'm going to copy that token we got here copy it, the access token back here I'm gonna go down to the headers. I'm gonna replace what we have with this. I'm trying to update the user. I'm trying to I'm trying to update Clinton's profile. So back to our body now. So I want to simply add a bio, a biography. I'm gonna say, I am a full stack. I am a full. I am a full stack web developer and coding instructor. All right. So this is Clinton's bio and coding instructor. So I want to also give him a, prof a profile picture, profile underscore picture. Okay, I'll just pick on this, so you can see we have, we have a drop down here, click select text, select file. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Clinton a profile picture. I just hope I find something I can use. Okay, I have one here. Open. So I want to also give Clinton What's it called? It's Facebook. If let me just add a Facebook URL for Clinton Facebook, and I have a sample URL here. Let me just copy this guy. Copy this. It must be a URL because as well it must be a URL. Let me just add one more. You let me just add YouTube for Clinton YouTube. Uh, I think I have YouTube over here too. Just copy this. Let me just close down the space. So I think I've got the YouTube URL. I'll paste it here. So Clinton only has, so right now, Clinton only has two, two social media, Facebook and YouTube. So but right now I've given him a bio, a profile picture, right? So we hope this works. Let's hope it works. Now we're going to send we can also decide to update Clinton's Clinton's first name or his username. I can just see username. You know, the username is called Clint. It's called Clint, right? Sounds right now. I want I want to change this to Clinton, or let's call it code with Clinton. I'll just say code with Clinton. That's gonna be the username, right? So now I just I'm trying to update. I'm also trying to update the username we have here. Right, so let's hope this works. So let's hope we're not going to face any errors. We're going to. It's going to be a put request. Remember, let's see if we did that. It should be a. It should be a put request. Put right. So yes. Back here, choose put, and then send. Let's send. Perfect. As it says, two hundred. Okay. Right, so you can see now it's worked. It's worked. Like I can see Clinton now has a bio, he now has a profile picture. You can see we changed the username from Clint to code with Clinton. So back to our browser now. If I refresh this page, refresh. You can see now Clinton now has you can see Clinton now has his name has been changed from Clint to code with Clinton. He now has a bio, he now has a profile picture. He has a Facebook URL. If I open the profile picture now, let's see what it looks like. Because this is Clinton's profile picture. Right? It's working, isn't it? It's, it's working. So we've been able to successfully update a user, a user's profile. So Clinton now has Facebook. If you scroll, he also has YouTube and Facebook now. So I just showed you how you can update a user's profile. So what's next?